Hey guys and welcome to April vlog day 4. So today I'm at my parents house as you might be able to tell here is my gorgeous mirror and here is my gorgeous bed. Um, we stayed here last night after having our curry and I'm about to head off back home as you might be able to tell I'm wearing the same outfit of yesterday because I stink. Not really, I've got a, like a fresh tank top on so I've got like black and the shirt and yesterday I was wearing grey but I'm going to do a proper outfit of the day later because I'm about to head back home to get changed and then Mike and I are heading to London this afternoon because Mike's going to be helping my brother um, with his garden which is very nice of him and manly um, and I'm going to a NARS preview for their spring 2012 collection which I'm really excited about it's also a kind of like makeup masterclass thing um, so it should be interesting and I'll see if I can take you guys along with me in there. I know there are quite a few other bloggers going so it'll be good to catch up with some other blogger people that I know. Um, and apart from that, that's pretty much it. I will catch up with you a little bit later when I'm at home and I'll do an outfit of the day. Let me know if you guys like the kind of outfit of the day every day type posts because I actually have decided it's kind of a cute idea. Like even if I'm wearing something like tracksuit bottoms or something, I think it's... Um, kind of fun for you guys to see if you want to see what I'm wearing every day. I don't know, you might not. Anyway, I will see you later. So a quick update on what I'm wearing today. Um, I am wearing the same jeans and the same boots as before. And then I've just paired those with my Reese pink top. Now this, I actually got in the sale this season. I don't know whether you can see, it's quite dark in here, sorry. But it's got like stars that are kind of embroidered into the material. They're tiny, tiny, so you can barely see them, but I really like that. And then I'm also wearing my key, my, like, heart key um, scarf from Topshop, which this was actually pretty expensive for Topshop. It's one of their um, concessions. I'm going to turn the camera around. Yeah, sorry about that. It's one of their concession lines, and it's actually, I think it was, like, £35 or something, but I just totally fell in love with it. But I think that's expensive for Topshop. Anyway, something really, really exciting just arrived in the mail, and I really want to show you. It is the new Vitalumiere Aqua Compact from Chanel. Um, I absolutely adore the Chanel Vitalumiere Liquid Foundation, so I was really excited um, to hear this is coming out. And this is a shade... Um, 30 because I am in the winter I'm a 20 in Chanel and in the summer I'm a 40 so the two Vitalumia Aqua colours that I have already are 20 and 40 in the liquid so I thought these are kind of in between months so I thought 30 is probably a good colour but there's actually not very much difference between the 20 and the 30. Oh another thing I was going to ask as well you know when um, products come with these kind of velvet packaging type pouches things. Do you find these really annoying? Because I find them kind of wasteful because I don't keep my products in them. Like, I end up just usually throwing them away. I usually keep them for like a few weeks until the novelty wears off and then I kind of throw them away and I think it's kind of a waste. Anyway, side note. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. I might actually just get Mike to hold the camera for me so I can show you. Hi Mike. Hello. What are you wearing today? Garden clothes. Hollister. Jeans, Pumas, Nike's and the tend... ugly cap. At what point? Oh, they're Nikes. At what point do they Sorry, look like Sorry, I just assumed that you'd be wearing your Pumas. It's gardening. Gardening gear. Can you film for me? Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, it's like the classic black Chanel and it's round, um, which I really like. It's kind of sophisticated. And then the sponge comes with it, which is kind of good for on the go. And what I really like is that it has like a sealed compartment for the makeup um, so it doesn't dry out. And I don't normally like cake makeup. But I'm going to try it out and see what I think. So I will let you guys know whether I like it or not. Because I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, and yeah, that is it for now. I will see you a bit later when we're in London. Hey guys, so I'm in London now. And I'm just about to head into Central to pick up a couple of things from Muji that I mentioned that I needed yesterday. Um, but I just realised it's like the Easter holidays in London. So it's going to be absolutely rammed, which should be interesting on the tube. But I thought I would try and show you the foundation that I just showed you before, the new Chanel one, but it's not really showing up in this light. I just tried it out and I'm definitely going to do a review on it um, on my beauty channel, I think. I've got such a thing for Chanel foundations, I just love them, so um, let me know if that would be something you guys would be interested in, seeing like a review of the new Chanel Vitalumiere Compact, because everybody loved the Vitalumiere Aqua, well, not everybody, but so many people loved the Chanel Vitalumiere Aqua Compact the liquid makeup, um, that I thought it might be quite cool to do a review of the new compact. And, but as a heads up, I do quite like it.
but I'm going to do a full review um, when I can. So I'm heading off to the NARS thing. I will see if I can film there. I'm not sure kind of how film friendly it will be, but I will see what I can do. And then I think I'm coming back and we're maybe getting some dinner, which could be nice. Um, I'm not sure where or what or who with the boys I'm sure will sort something out um who knows I just I'm gonna actually empty out my handbag so you can see I'm gonna like turn it upside down right now it's full of stuff that probably doesn't need to be there I think I have like a ridiculous amount of things in here that really don't need to be there like four bottles of nail polish so I'm gonna do that and I will see you at NARS later bye so I am at the NARS banner it's a little bit noisy I hope you can hear me um, I just did the NARS Masterclass tutorial, which looks like this. I hope you guys like it. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on my beauty channel for it, which let me know if you would like to see it or not. Um, I'm actually really surprised because a lot of the products that we use were not products that I instantly have gone for. So it's kind of cool. And I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of the summer collection as well. So this is the NARS summer collection. The lighting is a little bit dodgy, if you can see, along with some of their... Hello. Hello. <laughs> Along with some of their tinted moisturizers. <laughs> that was Zoe hey, from the London Lip Gloss being like, oh, hello like, there. Hello. And Jen from Beauty. Is it the Beauty Junkie London or a Beauty Junkie? A Beauty Junkie. A Beauty Junkie. Because yeah. I always just type Beauty Junkie and it comes up. Yeah. yeah. It's this like is Jen. Change. <laughs> and Zoe. Hello. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the NARS Summer Collection, which is very, very beautiful, along with some of their tinted moisturizers. And the products used in the tutorial that we just did are this trio, which is called Ramatuel, probably saying that really badly. Um, this blusher, which I actually like, scared the hell out of me until we used it, and it's actually really beautiful. It's almost like a um, terracotta colour, which is called Liberté, which is really, really nice. And then I used the matte lip pencil in Never Say Never. So really, really beautiful. Another thing that we used was the duo in Mary Gallant, which ha is like purple and blue shimmer, which is really, really gorgeous as well. So let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial with all of these. Um, I'm really excited by the summer collection, actually. I think it looks really good. This is Caroline from... <laughs> Who doesn't want to be on... Come in. No. Come on. No, this is Caroline from Newton if you guys have any questions on skincare, she's the person to ask. She doesn't do YouTube for these reasons. <laughs> Thanks, Mother. <laughs> so, yeah, I will um, update you guys later with a few more images from the NARS event. It's really noisy, and I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Bye. So, I just got home from the NARS event. I actually went out for dinner with a couple of my vlogging friends, um, Lily Pebbles from what I heart today and Zoe from the London Lip Gloss and Jen from a beauty junk in London who you hopefully will have just seen in the footage from today um, unless it was like really bad and I have to cut it out you pretty much should have seen them um, but we just went out for dinner kind of unexpectedly after the NARS event which was really nice um, and I actually got to meet some of Lily's other friends from kind of I say like home but like from not the bloggy world um, which was really cool it was nice to kind of chill out with them because a lot of the time when I see them it will be at like launches or events and stuff and you don't really get to kind of just chill and just have a nice time so it was really cool to go out for dinner with them um, and I'll link all of their blogs in the information bar below so you guys can go and check them out because I read all of their blogs on like a daily basis as well um, and I just got home and look who's waiting for me curled up like a little baby are you wagging your tail off little woofy oh she's the best dog in the world um but i'm super super excited because as you guys know um well if you watched yesterday's vlog you will know that i needed to go to muji and i got my stuff from muji a <gasps> little bit of a sneak peek i actually got some acrylic storage which i wasn't planning on getting i was only planning on getting um these which are like the gauze um makeup pouch things which I will explain more in my makeup collection video if you guys want to watch that on my main channel it should be up um early next week probably um but I also got some acrylic storage which I was really undecided whether to get because it's basically really expensive they're about um five to eight pounds a box and by a box I mean like this is one box with two little shelves like they're expensive um and I was kind of undecided and I ended up getting a few of those because I figure if I have good organisation then 
I will actually utilise my... Utilise, that sounds really serious. I'll actually use the makeup that I have rather than just it getting lost at the bottom of a drawer. So I think it's kind of worth investing to organise it. And, like, for... I think I spent £40 in total, like, redoing my whole collection. So I'm kind of happy with that because my storage before was so bad. Anyway, I'll stop talking about makeup storage because I'm going to do a whole video about that. Anyway... Um, I got home to find as well that my upload for my beauty channel, which is a Q&A with Sprinkle of Glitter, Louise and Zoella, Zoe, had actually failed when I was out, which is really irritating because now I had to re-upload it. Um, but, so hopefully that should be up late tonight or early tomorrow. Um, I think it's probably 11 something now, so it'll be up tomorrow morning basically. Um, but Louise is coming over for lunch tomorrow, which is kind of exciting, so I will no doubt be vlogging with her tomorrow. And for today, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys all had a great day. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do the tutorial for the NARS look. You probably can't really see too much now, but I really, really like it. And I was kind of surprised because when I first saw the colours um, that we used, like there were colours that I really liked that I wanted to use and we didn't end up using them in the demo, but when we actually did the demo, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, and they look, like, really, really nice, and I would definitely wear them again, so if you want me to do the tutorial on that, um, let me know, and I may be able to do a NARS giveaway, um, again, I'm hoping, I did one on my blog, um, about three weeks ago now, and it went down really, really well, so I'm hoping I will be able to do another one with them, maybe a special kind of collaboration for, um, the summer collection this year, which would be really cool, I'd be really excited if I can do that for you guys, um, and that is it for tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Wolf. Say bye.